At 12.01 p.m. on Tuesday, October 21st, with hot, dry conditions in the area, the first report comes in. A fire threatens the community of Deleuze near Camp Pendleton. They call the fire Roblar II. Two hours later, near Fontana in San Bernardino County, the Grand Prix fire is reported in dense, old-growth chaparral. North of Moreno Valley in Riverside County, the Pass Fire begins in inaccessible terrain. But a fourth fire front is opening up, with a blaze reported near the town of Piru in central Ventura County. Northern Los Angeles County near Santa Clarita, the Verdale Fire causing evacuations on its Val Verde flank. Okay, you go. You got to go. You got, you got about two minutes to get out of here. Two minutes. North of Happy Canyon in Santa Barbara County, the ironically named Happy Fire begins. On Saturday, October 25th, all hell breaks loose. The old fire, which will become a major battleground, roars through 10,000 acres. In Ventura County, the Verdale Fire has split jumping Highway 126 with the Southern Front, now called the Simi Fire, threatening Simi Valley and Moore Park. It was insane, absolutely insane. At 5.37 p.m., too late for safely using air attacks, fire is reported in San Diego County. The Cedar Fire, which will quickly become a gigantic blaze, immediately grows to threaten 50 residences and cause evacuations. There are mass evacuations and 22 evacuation centers operating in Southern California. Airports are closed as the FAA evacuates its regional air traffic control center. Many freeways are closed. Rail lines are shutting down. Bad air quality is a widespread health danger. San Diego Gas and Electric is forced to shut down power lines serving 11,000 homes. The Paradise Fire near Valley Center roars through 15,000 acres. I've been in the business 45 years. This is the worst fire conditions I've ever fought fire in. We got a massive fire, Santa Ana conditions, burning multiple houses, we got multiple burn victims, and this is the third fatality I've seen this morning. As the Mountain Fire breaks out in Riverside County, whipped by the wind across more than 2,000 acres. We are experiencing a history-altering event. The Ote Mine Fire ignites in San Diego County with extreme rates of spread. The Wellman Fire near the community of Anza, one of the over 900 smaller fires successfully controlled statewide in less than a week. What happened there? Uh, defensible okay. space made all the difference in the world on this one. Crews on the Cedar Fire contend with high winds and heavy amounts of dry fuel as the blaze burned through Scripps Ranch and numerous rural communities, destroying more than a thousand structures and causing 13 civilian fatalities. This fire has burned 80,000 acres in 10 hours. That's over two acres per second. A 50-foot-high wall of flames hits the Lake Arrowhead area, and 300 homes are lost as a fire crew from the Novato Fire Protection District is overrun by fire near the historic mining town of Julian, and one firefighter loses his life. A light rain begins falling on much of Southern California, and a healing snow begins to fall in the mountains. Adding up the toll, 14 major California wildfires burned through 739,000 acres during these 11 days, destroying over 3,600 homes and more than 1,100 other buildings. 15,000 personnel were deployed over five southern counties, with many more handling dozens of smaller blazes occurring at the same time in the North State. 246 injuries were reported and 24 people lost their lives, including one firefighter. The cost of battling the fires was more than 150 million and damages are estimated at a staggering $3 billion.